Welcome back, Salam, and it's my name is Dr. Craven. This is some more European Universalis 4, the Cossack expansion playing as Ethiopia. Currently trying to take over Hafuf. Um, we just need to wait for their war exhaustion to tick up very high. Their entire country is sieged down anyway, so that's not going to be that big of an issue. I expect. Um... Yeah, we did lose a lot of manpower in that war because they had a, they had, um, Arlen has a god general, a 1-5. Um, Bohemia, what does Bohemia do? Depletion of the European beaver. The Ottomans have lots of manpower, lots of everything. Austria down to zero manpower. Who are you actually fighting exactly? Um, quite a few more this time, but I wonder who gets the drop. Oh, Austria is already sieging them down, though. So that's never good. So, Tiberius, um, Persia, can I not just get access through you? Probably not. I actually can. We've lost our claim on Oman. Let's go. Oh, uh huh. Uh, who's there first? We are there first. It's mountains. I get a mountainous defense. I like that a lot. Arlan. Oh, yeah, we attacked into the mountains as well there. That did, probably didn't help at all. Oh, wow. We just crushed them so hard. We lost me not even 2,000 versus their. Seven. Yeah, there are two tech levels behind as well, so. Yay. Yay, us. Um, okay, my army is ready at the Ottoman border, at least my first army is. And um, the thing is, if I declare it on the Ottomans directly, Kilwa will join in too. Which is a slight issue. Which would mean I would have to engage Kilwa directly. And Kilwa has tech level 12 as well. Oh, 5 bonus prestige, that's nice. You're running all the way to Golstan? Oh, you cannot get there. Because this is a level 3 fort, so it needs to be sieged down. Um, you will not peace out yet, because there's a lot of stuff here. You are waiting here. Can I get... I can easily get there, actually. That is into the mountains, but they are at one-third of the people, so... 2-2 two, two versus a 1-0. Hmm. Can I, ah, damn it. They do get another morale tick. Doesn't mean I get another recovery tick as well, though. Ever claim in Kenna. Seriously? Oh man. Stupid control sometimes. Where's Oman's army? Uh, oh, over here in Persia. Well, we do get to kill them, but. Um, that cost us some more men again. And we don't have cannons, and they do so. Cannons did make a mess over there. Uh, no, then just stay here. Again, mountain is defense for them. At least Oman is. Where are they going? <sighs> oh well. 62% now on them. Uh, they're getting closer to willing to give up. No guy was real seed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 provinces to Russia. No guy just got split in half. Basically, is rivalry the only thing that's a problem with them mostly? Seems to be the case. But did they rival us or did we rival them? I think they rivaled us a long time ago. 
Well, this is mountain, so if they do decide to attack me, we get mountainous defense. Always nice. Oh, they're willing to accept, and then I'm taking it. Full annexation was demanded. So we are not going to war with Persia anytime soon. Inspiring victory. Let's convert it first. Persia actually cancelled access as well. Civil War in Ava. I can cancel that mission again. Ottomans, how are you doing? <laughs> Not great. They lost over 30,000 manpower. Still 83,000 troops. I mean, if I declare it now, they would possibly march half their army south. I'd rather not have them do that. Where is Hungary's army this time? Um, they got beaten up a little bit. Bohemia now declares on Galra. That's that's the League War. That's the League War, and the Ottomans are not in. The League War fired without the Ottomans. Because they're already... It also does mean that um, Austria did not join the frickin' war either. Which means we'll have to go without Poland or Lithuania against the Ottomans as well. Oh. Can you imagine? I, I know I, I... The easiest attack would be against Iraq, actually. And this is just... Oh, now they're actually pushing them back as well. <sighs> well, they did lose another 8,000 men here. We're now the fourth biggest army in the world. Yeah, um... The Mamluks would not give me... Hostile opinion and stuff. Mm. You're giving access to Morocco. At least that's something. I just need to find the right time to strike when their armies are nearly depleted. They're, they are still losing manpower quite quickly. Um, but Austria just dropped to 19,000. The armies are all up here. It will take some time before they even get down here, but... Sieging down the forts will still take time. Precious time. A trader died. Oh, we can take admin tech. Finally, we can take admin tech. I'm taking admin tech. But I'm still not sure what the hell I should pick for my idea group. Um, Thorns of Heretics. You have zero heretics, so I'm just going to turn you off. Yeah, that one is good, though. Mm. On the one hand, I would like to take a military idea, but I know I cannot afford it. I think I just have to take a diplomatic idea. And the question is, which diplomatic idea goes well with defensive or religious? Espionage for defense, monthly autonomy change, no. Exploration, morale of navies. Exploration would still be decent just to get my um, colonization in Africa and maybe further to the southeast going. Um, hostile core creation on us, diplomatic relations, no. Trade is definitely not on the table here. Influence, cost of reducing war exhaustion down for defense. Which one does reduce the war exhaustion costs? Is that... Diplomatic? Yeah. So you get 20% from finishing influence and getting a policy as well. I think, if anything, um, influence is pretty good. But then again, we don't need the claims to attack, so... Maybe just diplomatic ideas? 
In province war score cost down, diplotech cost down. Or influence. Or just go with expansion and just really get so far behind on admin. Might do that. Permanent CB that we don't need. We don't need that CB, so that finisher is not necessary. This one either. But I still need a colonist at some point. Uh, I think influence then to... Wait, which one is it? Oh no, that would be administrative actually with core creation cost down. Fine, I won't pick anything just yet. Let's first get our tech up and then we'll see. You need to come all the way down there. Sunni Zealots in Wasit. But it's already at 80% conversion, so... Nothing to worry about. I'm still focusing on military, because I want military. 11.13. Ottomans, how are you doing? They did lose another 11,000 manpower, and they're building mercenaries now. Austria has 12 mercenaries, so... It looks like Austria is not doing great, but they're still getting sieges. Also, lots of stuff going down over there. Free money, always nice. Oh, Poland has peasants in the middle of the League War as well. Enforce a white peace. Oh, wow. If we had an opinion of... Fear of Ethiopia plus one. Really? I'm improving relations with Austria for a couple of months now. Good enforce peace, join the war, become the war leader, I think. Convert it with seats. In three, two, one. Da -da -da. What are you, Persian pretenders? That will soon disappear because, well, we just converted it. Need 61 to core it, so that's four more months as well. Yeah, I cannot spend admin on this. It's just too much damn admin. Um, that would actually be clergy, right? Oh, 92. Oh, no. Um, 85. Military support, that would lose them quite a bit. That, that gets us the tech, though. Oh, um, Ottoman's already in 14. How much do we need? August, one year away from the tech. Oh, the Ottoman's actually got a siege done. Two sieges done. That's a fort they just sieged down. That's probably why most of their army was not in the fight. Lost another 10k manpower, though. So their manpower pool is depleted, or depleting. And they are probably fighting a lot up there. Supply trains, reinforce speed. That's also pretty good. We're getting close to the tech, and I really want to get the tech first, so I get my cavalry in combat too. I know I'm not on max manpower though. Um, two cavalry. To get that 226 army as well. I also really like better leaders. Down to six, 7,000 manpower, but they went up to 82,000 people again. Austria is up to 28,000, though. Hang on, I'm getting quite a bit of duck. Oh, no, 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 no. That is bad. That is really bad. They managed to peace out Hungary for minimal things. They're in a big war, though. But it's just... 
mm, now Hungary is just not giving them, possibly not giving them access anymore. Um, how are the League Wars progressing? Um, he's piecing out small bits and pieces left and right. Is it worth it with the Ottomans? So the Emperor is officially in a war with the Ottomans, which is also quite hilarious. Uh, managed to convert the Heretics of Hafuf. I can actually start coring with Sid now. Hafuf is 63. Okay. High production, actually. Not bad. Um, yes. Galra pieced out Frankfurt. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is nearly there. Enforce peace. Ooh, we could enforce peace next month. That would be hilarious because they are the attacker. I would come in as a defender. As helping the defender. Ottomans did lose a chunk of men there. Probably so did Austria. Let's call back from Austria and... Wow, 25% chance now on Poland. You are currently... We are on 36. We're actually second in line behind Galra. Who is the Emperor who gets a massive bonus to relations, I think. But yeah. Um, once he's back from Austria, I'm going to see if I can do that. Because officially, I think they might be losing the war. They are currently losing the war. Question is, would I come in as a... Um... No, 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 no. Enforce peace. With Austria. No. No, 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 no. I don't want to force you into a white peace. You silly goose. 69,000. We have 52,000. We have more manpower. We're about to get the tech. Actually, I think... Is it worth it? I think it's worth it. Forcing the tech right now. There we go. Mill tech 14. Better. Also, this means these forts are now out of date for us too. African Hussars. But I cannot declare straight up on them. I have to declare on... Which makes a double cost on the Ottomans. Because they're freaking alliance with freaking Kilwa. That's just so annoying. The other one would be Tlemcen, which is not even possible for me to... Isn't Poland in a war? Poland is already in the war versus these two. But if we offered them stuff... Is that worth going after Kilwa for? Possibly Kilwa's tech 13. Lots of cannons. Crappy leader. Um, Mombasa, actually. First up, I need to unmovable that. Is that worth fighting Kilwa using one of my armies to crush Kilwa first? I mean, that army would be completely out of the war. I don't think that's worth it. Would mean everything is cheaper to take from the Ottomans, though. Six, 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 six. Everything down here is cheap anyway, except for Kahir, which is Cairo. So that would be 48 plus 4 means 56%. This is cheap because it's a core. I think I can do it by just declaring on Iraq. What is the army size of Iraq, though? This is one hell of a gamble that I'm playing. But if I can get Poland and Lithuania in this war as well, who can just hammer on the Ottoman forces in the north with the Austrians that are currently there. Seriously. Iraq is on 9,000 still. Wow. 
impressive. Um, I should put my army here, though, then. Yeah, if I'm going to declare on Iraq, I have to go in myself into Iraq first. Just to make sure we get Iraq sieged up completely. And then if we can drag out war for five years without losing Iraq again, we can make a peace. How are you doing now? They recovered, but Jesus, they're recovering so fast. Hmm. You see them lose manpower again. They go down by 500 manpower. Oh, they're actually in a fight now. They're in a pretty big fight, actually. They just recovered 1500 again. Look at him just dropping. Yeah. Ottomans accepted peace with Flanders. I probably think Flanders was not actively in the war. Uh, let's see. Let's give them a small gift. We can at the very freaking least start the annexation process here. It's the least I can do before this war starts. How long would it actually take for me to annex at Oman? 312 Diplo. That's actually not bad. May 78. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Costing me 6 each month. Regaining 3 now? No. Oh, yes, we are gaining 3 because our Diplo skill is that good. Okay, uh, my army is in position. Their fort is in Hilla. Actually, Basra should be fine. A good harvest. Um, invest the money for crying out loud. Hell yes, get that core started. Um, I guess my well, seat is an Iraqi core, so actually, I'm gonna cancel the core creation for now. Oh, we only gained back half of it though. Shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. Fine, did it now. Lost some points. Care. Um, Iraq. Here we go. Declare war. Um, oh, right. I cannot get Poland in it. That's the thing. I cannot get Poland in it unless I declare straight up against the Ottomans. Ugh. I mean, I can still train up 13 more troops as well. Wow. But I kind of have to go against the Ottomans. They're on 35 mercs now as well. Holy crap. Yeah, I have to do it. I have to do it. Without their help. Maybe more will join them. We're not surprised to learn. Uh, just in case, I'm getting some more forts up and actually since i can do it upgrade forts in the meantime as well since i have the money for it it's going to be double as expensive to moth um to keep them active uh you know what this one can go and for yeah i'm keeping this one though because of kilwa There we go. Ottomans are in. Fully maintained. Yep, yep. Yeah, because they're already at war. They are, of course, fully maintained. Okay, final things to do. Train a few more dudes. So we can have some small sieges going on in the background. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I'll see you guys later.